If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. Hey guys, just real quick before the video gets started, I just wanted to say that we're going to be having some more Miles content in the new future, counting the deck profile as well as some more decks and games coming in the future. The second thing I want to mention was that we're going to be doing a giveaway for Vanguard Deer Days. So we're going to be giving away one copy of the Steam Edition. Uh, so it'll be a downloadable code. There's no giveaway just yet, but I just wanted to bring it up so you guys know that it's going to be happening soon. All the details are going to be on the Nexus Core Twitter, and there's going to be some information as well on the discussion board for the YouTube channel, but it'll all mostly be taking place on the Nexus Core Twitter. So go ahead and, you know, follow the account just to get some more updates so that you're kind of up to date on when the giveaway is going to start. That's pretty much it. And without further ado, enjoy the deck profile. Hello, YouTube. Miles from Nexus Core here. I have my Stoicaea Flagberg deck profile. Let's card game. Um, your starter is uh, Officer Cadet. Eric? <laughs> no, Cherocles. Oh, Cherocles. Trolling. Testicles. Testicles nuts. <laughs> um, it's just, you know, on right if you want second draw. Um, I run in Road Shooters my grade one, so this is the non order. Stoicaea, order flag, order burr, whatever people call it, flag order, flag order. Um, so interred shooters need, um, when he's rode upon by a sentence assault, you can call it onto the board. Um, and then it's rear guard skill is if you have a vanguard named uh, flagship dragon, flag bird dragon, um, or a sentence assault, then this unit gets intercept and 2k, so it becomes a 10k poker and uh, a grade one with intercept. That's That's pretty neat. Um, for my grade two, I run the Ascendance Assault. You, when rode upon, you can Soul Blast one uh, other card, um, so you can't Soul Blast himself, and then you can call it out of the soul. Um, but if you have Flagberg or Inroad Shooter in your hand, you can reveal that uh, to pay the cost instead. So you can basically call it out of the soul for free. Um, and then his other skill is um, once per turn, when your other rear guard attacked, if your flag moves your vanguard, you can counter plus one and then stand this unit. It literally says stand this unit, not, oh, it always said that. <laughs> right? Do skills that say stand say stand? I don't know. <clears throat> Whatever. If you made it this far, tell me if I'm right. And then we run Flagberg Dragon. I like Flagberg, he's very cool. So his skill is when you attack, you can counter blast one when you attack a vanguard. You can counter blast one and then perform each of the following skills for the number of battles that you've made thus far. So if you have made three or more, you get to draw. Uh, if you made four or more, then your opponent chooses two of the rear guards and retires them. And if you made three, uh, five or more, this unit gets 10k. And when your opponent would guard from hand, they have to guard with three cards at a time, three cards or more at a time. You know, good card. It's made even better with your um, persona right turn, like every other deck and standard is. So let's go to our grade three lineup. You know, we have our, our four Flagberg because it's your main grade three and persona writing is cool. Except in, when we get that chalice or whatever it is. I don't know. Bet. Ugh, this video is gonna hate me. Probably, <laughs> right? Um, run four uh, blue artillery dragon, inlet pulse dragon, because it's a shiny promo and those are inherently good. It's now, gonna get reprinted. Uh, not if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so his skill is uh, at the end of the battle that it attacked a uh, it attacked a grade three or greater vanguard. If it's the first battle of the turn, you can soul blast one and then restand this unit. What's not to love about a 13k base restanding reguard with no counter blast cost? But uh, at the end of the battle, um, at the end of the turn, I'm sorry, you can shove this unit into the soul and then draw a card. So it's kind of got that like the aqua force style. And then our final grade three run three of is, um, this card's such a long name, Empyrean Blue Dragon Shelling Cannon Dragon. So this is the newer promo, depends on when this video comes out. This is, this one's good, I like this a lot. Um, if it is in the back row center rear guard, so like, this is your vanguard, and it's right here, then um, it can attack from the back row. No, that's not right. Um, at the beginning of your battle phase, you can counter blast one if your vanguard is flagged, but you can counter blast one. Your opponent also has to have a grade three or greater vanguard too. So that's it's it's not the most like it's not the best like you know early early game card. Um, but you can counter blast one and it gets 10k and it can attack from the back row. In the back row center rear guard, you can actually uh, move it like um, horizontally uh, instead and diagonally 
you know, so like you can just move it all around the board. But it has to. Intercept for no reason. That's a misprint. Um, that only works if it's in the back row center rear guard. So you can move it from that center. You cannot move it into that circle. Uh, so I only run three. I genuinely have not seen decks that run four. I think that four would be too heavy. Inlet Pulse is still, I think, mostly like better, but the 10K is really nice. I think Inlet Pulse is like the best card Stoic has ever had. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and it's back in Magnolia now. Yeah. So I run the, the four Ascendance Assault. Where the fuck did he go? There he is. <clears throat> um, so explain what this card did already. It restands. You, you need restands for this deck because you want to hit four battles. It's just like, it's like 2013 Aqua Force. Um, just to make sure that when you're doing your deck log for a major tournament, you specify that you have one hollow and three rares. <laughs> that was not the rest of my grade twos. Where the fuck did that card go? <laughs> I ran four tier knight Alex, or uh, it should be Alex. I'm pretty sure it's Alex, but Bushroad has to do a much better job of translating and localizing. Yeah, so she's she's new. She's like the only new card in this deck. Um, at the end of the battle, that this unit attacked Vanguard. Um, if it is the second battle. So now we have a card that does something on the second battle, which is cool, because we only had first battle and third battle and fourth battle. Now we have a second battle. Um, if you have a, can, can, can we guess what it is? If you have a what Vanguard? Right? Magnolia. If you have, no, 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 you're so close. Zorga. Uh, no, no, no. Leanor. Mm-mm. You let pulse? Ooh, almost. You're, you're, you're warm. You're in like a jacuzzi right now. If you have a standing Vanguard. Oh, okay. Name Flagberg. <laughs> you have a standing Vanguard Flagberg, so your Vanguard can't attack yet, which like, why would you? Because you're not bad at this game. Maybe you are, I don't know. I don't, I don't know who you are. I don't know your story. Um, then you can uh, Soul Blast one and then stand this unit and it gets 5K. So like, wow. Good card. So if you have it, Inlet Pulse, and um, Shelling Cannon, then it's like you can get off like six attacks and Ascendance Assault. You can get off a lot. You can do you can do so much. Um, she's just great. I love her. I wish her name wasn't incredibly stupid. For Grade Ones, I run four Prize Trident. Like y you can't not run this card when uh, so its skill is just uh, when your other unit attacks for the fifth battle of the turn or more. Um, nope, specifically has to be the fifth battle. You can shove it to soul and then counter charge one. Who doesn't love counter charging in standard, right? Why would you not run this? Um, and it filter it fills the soul. Like as you've seen, there are several cards in this deck that take souls. So, like being able to counter charge and also fill soul is very helpful. Um, so I run two Conspiring Mutant Adamantis. This is kind of an old choice. Um, but see if you'll run the grade two, that's like you can retire it or something to give another unit 10K, but I think that that's silly because why would you want to get rid of your rear guards? But that was more of like an order. That was like more of an order centric deck because you could bring it back. You could replace this with Inroad Shooter. I might even try that. I just like, I just did not have much of like an application with inroad, I think this is more helpful because skill is on call, pick a unit, give it 5k. So like giving your restanding units 5k is really helpful because they push more block um, from your opponent. I run four PGs. Um, I mean, you can run like the Elementaria. I just don't have the extra copy, but like it's it's a PG, you know, you, you, we, we like not getting hit. And then for my final grade one, which isn't really grade one, I just run three spiritual body condensation. So like, even though this isn't the order version of Stoicaea or Flagberg, it, like this card's too good not to run. Skill is a uh, soul blast one to play. And uh, you choose a card with of uh, um, grade equal or less than your Vanguard from your drop zone, call it, and then it gets 5K. So like, again, call a card that your opponent retire that you need for your like multi-attacking, give it 5K, make it a 10K with Adamantis or something like that, or like make two re-standing cards with 5K. It's just like, it's, it's, a good, it's such a good card. We got very lucky having this. Triggers, we're in blessed favor. You're over trigger, so uh, when you trigger it, you get to draw a second time. So it's, it's skill draws, and then like the over trigger draws you a card. So you get two cards off that. Um, you can give a unit a crit. Your, your front row gets 10K on top of that, and then you also heal uh, if you have um, equal or greater damage than your opponent. So just all around a really good card. Then for trigger lineup, I run uh, for Aspiring Maiden, um, Alana, you know, it's it's the crit that at the end of the battle that it boosted, you can put it in the soul, give another unit 2k. It's it's mainly, like, I don't use it, you know, that often, but it's it's the, the main point of it is that, like, it's 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 a, it's a trigger with a skill. <laughs> these are these are like five bucks for a reason. 
Um, no, being able to filter still is cool. Those are also getting reprinted again. Yep. Yeah, and then I run three uh, Sylvan Horned Beast Jackalope because it's very cute. Not the water trigger miles? No, I hate that art. Oh, okay. Um, but I do run four Elegy Pixie because, um, I mean, can you argue? Look at it. <laughs> Look at it. Cool. Look at her Elegy Pixies. And for draws, um, the Serene Maiden uh, Lena, because draws that become 10K are very good. Anyway, that's the deck profile. Um, let me know why I should run Inroad Shooter and why I apparently need to run something other than Arix, because there were like five cards that came out in this new set that I they, they all look like they're not that great to me. But um, this is like actually one of the few standard decks that I like genuinely enjoy. I, I do have fun with it, I promise you. Let me know and um, if you've made it this far, let me know what your favorite um, ocean is. I'll, I'll like your comment if I um, like what you said. Y'all have a great night. I'm gonna go beat Richard and go to bed. Bye.